friends, this is Miss Hutchins, and now that we've read Being a Good Citizen, we're going to write about it. Um, we are on page 78 in our My Book, and when looking at our prompt, it says, if someone asks you for directions about how to be a good citizen, what would you tell him or her? Use details from the words and pictures to explain your ideas. So then it wants us to plan. First, think of three steps to follow to be a good citizen. Write or draw them below. So whenever I saw these three steps, I immediately thought about those headings that we had talked about. So let's go back and just count how many headings we have. One, two, three. We have three headings and three parts of our plan. So if we use those headings to help us plan, it might make it easier. So our first step, it says step one, community living. Now if I just write community living in my box there, it's not really gonna make a whole lot of sense. So I have to think about community living and we all already live in the community. So what I came up with for my first step would be to think about your community and how you can make it a better place. Because like I said, we already live in one, so how could we make our community a better place? That's what I put for step one. So if you want to go ahead and fill in step one like that, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you can draw a picture if that's easier for you. And remember, our plan does not have to be complete sentences at this point. Then we move on to step two. So let's look at our next heading, get involved. And as you can see, I wrote get involved for my step two. And then I put a one and a two. I put that because I would like for you to go into your text and write one or two ways or draw one or two pictures about how you could get involved in your community. So go ahead and do that now. Our third heading is help others. So you can see on step three, I wrote help others. And then I wrote one and two. And again, I want you to go into your text and find one or two ways that you could help others in your community. So go ahead and do that now. After you have finished writing your plan and filling in the parts that I asked you to, we are now on page 79 in your my book and you are going to write directions that tell how to be a good citizen. So you're going to take your plan that may not be in complete sentences or you may have pictures there and we're going to put it into nice easy steps for people to follow on how to be a good citizen. So you want to choose the most important details in the text and I know that we did that because I asked you to go back in and pick parts of the text and use action words that tell your readers exactly what to do. So I went ahead and wrote my first sentence for my part of the plan. I want you to remember whenever we write plans that our plans are not always in complete sentences. So we wanna take what we have, whether it be a picture or sentence, and come over and put it into words. So my step one said, think about your community and how you can make it a better place. So because it was step one, I put first, think about your community and how to make it a better place. Then we would move on to step two. What do you think would be a good way to say that we're moving to step two? I think a good way would be to say next. And instead of first, next, you could write step one, step two. I just think that first and next sound good, so that's what I put. Um, so you would put first, next, and you would move on to complete your step two. Now, like I said, you picked two, one or two things out of our story for step two. So I'm going to go ahead and write next, get involved. But that's not a very strong sentence. So I'm going to add some words to make my sentence stronger, even though in my plan I just wrote, get involved. So I'm going to write next, get involved in your community. And 
Now you are going to write your two ways that you said you would, you could get involved in your community. So you might write, you can, and then this would be where you would write how you could get involved in your community. And um, you could write, you can watch the news. You can go to a bike safety lesson. Whatever you found in the text, that's what you would write there. And then we would move on to our step three. And the word I think of for step three would be last. Last, you find ways to help others in your community. So again, I'm not going to just write last, help others. I'm going to make it a strong sentence. Last, find ways to help others in your community. And then again, you're going to write what you chose out of the text in your next sentence. You can, what can you do to help others? What were some things our text talked about where you could help others? Remember it talked about small acts of kindness and gestures? So you could write, you can draw a picture for a friend. You can hold the door open for the next person. 